Lingus. I think it's pretty fantastic. Alright, three, two, one, go! Are you streaming with a 1 megabit upload speed right now? I have 2 to 3, so it was a little low for streaming. I'm streaming at 700 kilobits. So do with that information what you will. It is very low, actually, but for 2D games that primarily don't have a lot of uh, background action going on, they actually, it seems to be enough that I can get away with it. Uh, but when I get my better internet, I'm obviously going to be raising my bitrate up to 2.2 uh, megabits. Thanks, Jimmy! Thanks for that cat again. Who's leaving? Sorry, I'm catching, like, every other message here. Oh, Redemption's leaving. Thank you for coming by, Redemption. Have a good, uh, good night and a good rest. Oh, that was a weird jump. I just kind of did a wibble wobble there. Yeah, I actually had it set to 750 uh, uh, for a while, thinking that was going to make some kind of difference. And uh, when I was dealing with Skype and trying to talk on the NLSS, it just was like crashing and being awful. So I ended up toning it down to 700, and that seemed to make the difference for a while until we started doing video chat. And I also need to find out exactly how much bandwidth Skype uses, because I think it's incredibly variable and also incredibly wasteful. Uh, Skype just seems to break up at a ridiculously high amount of bandwidth that it's still allocated. And that's rather frustrating to me. Move to Iceland. Wish it was that simple, I would. How do you tell if throttling is happening? Well, maintain a very close watch on your bandwidth, and see if what you did made it seem like things are going slower than they're supposed to be. Okay, just don't jump apparently. That's fine. I didn't need to jump anyway. I'm actually pretty amazed that I can get away with streaming at the bitrate that I have, because it's really bad. And what I put up right now, this very stream that we're streaming at this very moment, I don't feel too terrible about. And I actually do care a lot about the quality, although I understand the fact that I haven't bought this better internet package seems like I don't. It's largely been financial reasons that I haven't gone for it. I've known I've needed it for a long time, obviously. Uh, but I've just felt like, well... This is one of those things that, like, it's sort of, it's an investment in myself of, as a business, I suppose. And honestly, it'll save me time, it'll save me money, it'll make my life easier, it'll make your life, well, it'll make your enjoyment of my content better, hopefully. And uh, the amount of money different that it is, is, it's a bunch, but it's not so much that it's like, I'm going to have to live differently necessarily for it. Just means I've got to continue to, to keep working as much as I can, otherwise, you know, I might end up getting pulled under the tides of money, and that sucks. But, I don't feel like I'm in any major danger of that happening. In fact, I'm, I'm making plans to go to uh, see Kate and Ryan at the end of August in Vancouver, so I actually am going to be buying a plane ticket very soon. And the fact that I can even do that means that I'm doing okay enough to be able to make a decision like that. So thank you, that is entirely because of um, Twitch support that that's even possible. So, I mean, I'm going to be going to see them, but also I'm going for uh, PAX Prime as well. And there's a lot of expenses associated with that kind of a trip, and had I not had such a fantastic group of people watching, I would absolutely not have had a chance at going out to do that. Have I done public speaking? I took a class in college. I've never felt it to be one of my strong suits, though. Uh, I think I'm actually decent at speaking, just only when I'm, like, on a one-to-one -one basis, usually, and that's kind of how I pretend I am here. A 
looked pretty bad when you streamed Dark Souls, but it looks pretty damn good now. Yeah, it's entirely to do with what game it is and how it's presented. Uh, see games like Dark Souls, every single second that you're moving, since it's a 3D game, all of the pixels need to be refreshed. But in a game like Meat Boy, a lot of the time it has static backgrounds and only the objects, uh, you know, the actors in the scene actually are changing. I'm going to take the safe strat here because I'm just tired of redoing this level over and over again. Uh, this is not a good example of what I'm talking about, but largely the levels in Meat Boy are static. Uh, with the exception of the backgrounds, or the saw blades, or like the enemies moving around, and of course Meat Boy. Like, in ex for example, in one of these levels, or the, the UI between levels, it's basically just an image. So in that case, it has plenty of time. And it can refresh all it needs to. You get to play Rebirth at PAX, is that so? How do you know I'm not playing Rebirth already? I saw Vorpal running this level over and over again. My god, the strats are so good. I have a long fucking way to go before I can compete with uh, the main players in the Super Meat Boy competitive scene. I also haven't gotten a damn PB in ages. It feels like a long time now. I think it's been over a month. Oh, I forgot to swoop! Oh, butts. But sausages, that's no good at all. I've been feeling much more compelled to play Binding of Isaac recently. I don't know if you can tell, but like the decision that it seems to be showing up on the NLSS is, you know, it's half to do with my decision, half to do with Ryan's decision most of the time. But I've just felt more in the mood to play it lately. I want to like memorize all the damn items before the new one comes out. Uh, that way I don't have to ask what they are constantly, because this, you know, gets to be a little embarrassing considering I have actually spent a lot of hours playing it already. I just have a terrible memory and there are a lot of items in that. Yeah, that was indeed swoopless, unfortunately. Oh, okay, well, that sucks. I need to get this thing so I don't botch that jump. I want to not have to, uh, stop before I make that. I want to just run straight up it. I hope you guys find a sub. Oh, you mean like a new person. I don't know what we're going to do with that. I think we're just going to leave it for the time being. I don't know how comfortable I feel necessarily. Like, you can't replace Josh, obviously. So I don't know how we're going to handle that. And I also don't really want chat to become who could we put on the NLSS next, because that's not really up to all of us, even myself. Did you hear about Super Smash Bros. for 3DS? Yeah, of course. I might maybe buy that, I don't know. Josh isn't streaming. Yeah, Josh is uh, not going to be in the OTI worlds for a while. He's got a new full-time job, and he doesn't really have the time or energy to still, you know, leave for that kind of thing. So he said it's going to be at least a month before he considers any streaming at all, and he said possibly longer. So that's where he's at. He did a vlog. You can, if anyone wants to link it, feel free. Your favorite word that starts with R. How about a really big thank you to whoever that donor was? Unfortunately, I don't have my widget open, so I can't actually see. Oh my god, I hit the saw blade! That sucks. Uh, but I will check 
when I get to the boss, because there's a while where I get to just stand still, and I'm gonna see who it was. So thank you very much for the support. It's because of fantastic people like you that I'm able to buy a better internet package so I can stream for you in a better quality. Um, I'm actually really psyched because I wanted to play a lot of like first-person shooter and like 3D games like that, and since I just can't on my current internet connection, I've just left a lot of games that I just haven't streamed still uh, that I would like to, so I'm looking forward to it very much. Thoughts on Killing Floor? I played it once, seemed okay. Uh, not super into, like, the Horde Mode style games. Oh shit, that was really close to missing that. Uh, but yeah, those games are generally powered by, like, hey, you're playing with some friends, and playing with friends is fun no matter what you're doing, so, you know, can't go too wrong in that case. You should definitely compress your video. I do render my videos, so I'm not sure why you think I don't. I just don't render them as small as that codec would. Oh, I forgot to practice. There was a faster strat for this level that I could actually pull off, and I didn't do it. Where you just go straight up into, like, over the eyeball. Okay, did, like, pseudo-fast strat there. I don't know, Revelations 2012. Yeah, I didn't play that. Oh shit, I missed I missed the portal, now the timing's all off. Well, actually, that might have been exactly on the second cycle, so yeah, that still worked out. Fantastic. Okay, last one. And boss time. Boss time! I think that's good. We'll find out in one more stomp here. Yeah! Boss time. Can I find Sublime Bone Durst? <laughs> yes, do. Uh, didn't, didn't you play Revelation 2012? That was a day that I wasn't on. So I didn't actually play it, but I think I have a copy of it, because I think he bought it for all three of us. Alright, so now the boss is going to fight himself. Uh, that's that. That was Dr. Cosmos PhD donated $5 with the message, I really enjoy everything you produce, keep up the good work. Thank you very much for that, it's really nice of you to say, and I appreciate the gener uh, generous donation as well. Okay, coming up on split. Three, two, go! That was actually late on the countdown. Now oh, we're down to eight seconds. This actually might end up okay. Wow, well, Nick stopped cheating. Why didn't anyone tell me there's a spot where you don't get it? It's very particular. Uh, you've got to stand, like, right with your leg at a certain spot for it to actually work. There have been days when I've been, like, a little off my game and still gotten myself killed there. But it's a lot more efficient than trying to do this, oh god, the old-fashioned way where you just sort of, like, follow the boss along and try and memorize it. Like, just knowing that there's that spot and that you just have to make three jumps for the whole fight certainly helps. Okay, that was kind of awkward. I'm really sad that I botched that first level. You're welcome for the unbanning. I'm usually willing to give people a chance if it's, you know, reasonable. A few people on this, the NLSS subreddit I probably wouldn't give another chance to lately, but that's another story entirely that I'm not going to get into. Will you do a fan meet at PAX? Uh, probably not. I don't know. It depends. Because uh, I'll be probably with Ryan and Kate for the whole thing, and possibly others too. So it depends what kind of mood that they're in, and if there's a reasonable way to do it. Uh, when we did PAX East this year, it was... we were ha we had like... 10 to 12 people with us at all times that were just like in our group so the idea of adding potentially a bunch of people that would see us on like twitter and then meet us someplace seemed like kind of anarchy so it depends i'd like to do one but i can't say with any kind of certainty that it will happen 
Also, it has to be, like, at the convention center, because obviously if we tried to, like, do it at a bar or something, we would basically just, like, destroy the bar. There would be too many people. And that would be kind of rude. Oh my god, I went for the jump and I didn't get it. I'm the worst. My rapture sucks, guys. I've even practiced it, too. Alright, we won't go for the jump this time. Oh my god, and I missed the key! I had an okay run, guys, until this. Think that corner glitch is gonna help me at this point? It's not, me boy. Stick with it. Maybe I can get uh, that one level strat down. I could always use the practice regardless, that's why I don't really want to stop at this point. Once I get down to this point in the, the run, it's like, might as well finish it, really, even if it's terrible. Also, I just enjoy the gambling element to see where I end up with Larry each time. Sometimes it's extremely good, sometimes extremely bad, and it can be funny, actually. Do not chase me too far, meat. Okay, that was a little bit weird. I do not have a solid way to deal with them on this level every time. This level I have. This level there's a pattern, a pretty easy pattern. Blowjob hype. There could certainly be some blowjob hype if that was a possibility in my life. Okay, walk. Run. Okay, it killed both. That one falls in the salt. Go under- Oh my god, man! Now I've botched the thing. It's not gonna work this time. Okay. That's what I meant to do. I got a new message. I'm not sure who it was from. Okay, that's not the strat that I was hoping for. We walk up. Do pause glitch, and then I'm supposed to grab the edge and stuff, but it doesn't seem to work that way most of the time. Okay, I just did pause glitch straight through that entire level, because that's hilarious. We're going to catch the corner. Didn't catch the corner, we're going to reset. Catch the corner. That was actually fine. I need to get in a better habit of doing these things properly. There we go. Fall... Up. There's actually a marking on the wall that you can use to judge where to jump from. Kinda handy. Ha, ah, you're talking about blowjobs and I just said handy. I'm trying to get faster at this level too. I also was able to do that in one jump before once. It was a pretty weird time. Okay, well, that's not how we do that at all, but I'll take it anyway, because I lived. I actually have that way more down than that. Okay. Let's see how Larry treats us today. Alright, ran right into the saw blade. You gotta seem to do that once each time. So we gotta jump on one. We've got a jump on two. Let's get a jump on three and we'll actually break even. How about that? Yeah, jump on three. We got a perfect Larry. And we will be dead on... Okay, two seconds green. I'll take it. So that means if I can actually pull off a faster end than on my escape, because I have a new strat for escape, I actually could possibly pull out at the last minute and ejaculate. No, that's not what I meant to say. Uh, I could pull out a PB on this run, conceivably. As soon as I die, though, it's probably pretty much over. Okay, it didn't happen here. I love perfect Larrys. They're my favorite kind of Larrys, really. I like them more than a Larry Herb, or like the Larry from Gator Time, or the Larry from Bewitched. Those are the majority of the Larrys that come to mind when I think of that. <laughs> Good job, I guess you're talking about the perfect Larry that I had no control over. <laughs> I appreciate it anyway, though. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I did practice my end run quite a bit. This is feeling better. I also have a backup strat for this level now, which I'm going to employ right now. Oh, that was a save and a butt. 
and three quarters as well. That actually, I really thought I was about to die there. Okay, tap both corners. That's bad news bears for me, but I'm going to roll with it anyway. Hope I don't get killed on this saw. I didn't. That's really good news. Over we go, over the rainbow, and to the exit. Omega. Uh, should I go for the jump? Oh god. What? Okay, I just slipped off all of the things there. That's not how that's supposed to go. I practiced this goddamn level more than any of them. Okay, got that. Second tile! Oh, I botched it! I shouldn't have gone for the top. Shouldn't have done it. And now I'm dropping jumps again like a scrub. This is looking bad all of a sudden. Okay, just let's calm down. Let's take it easy here. I just gotta get through this normally. Really wish I would have made it through the top. It does save a couple of seconds that I could really use right now. Okay. Don't die on the last saw, please. Okay. I had to itch my nose there. It worried me a lot. Three, two, one, jump. Let's get ahead of the machine real quick, please. I'm gonna catch this on the slide down. Got plenty of time to make it through here. And we're gonna fall on this one, Areno. Catch the other side, let's hit the up angle, and through there, and how about we just finish off this level right about now. Alright, that's looking pretty good. Whee! I need a rock Larry, yeah, that would be fine. Well, I can't PB, I don't think, anymore. Uh, excuse me, my timing on the escape, I think, was like 25 seconds, so it would be down to like a second or two if I could make it. Have I played Shadow of the Colossus? Uh, I've played it, but I haven't finished it, actually, so that was one of the things that I was hoping to stream at some point. I actually went and bought the HD collection for it. Alright, let's see if I can pull off my new strat on this level consistently. So far, so good. Now I just gotta hit the invisible block, and we're golden. I missed the invisible block, but I still landed on the platform. And that is GG. So, 22.45. I don't even know what my PB was. Did I just PB by, like, two seconds? You guys tell me. I don't even know. <laughs> I think it was 22.48, so I think I might have just gotten, like, two or three second PB. I'm stretching now. Oh, hey, Josh! How's it going, buddy? Glad to see you. We missed you today. Well, we've missed you for a while. Cool. Alright, so that was a PB then. 3.3 .3 seconds. Hey, I'll take it. I haven't had a win in a while, so... Get wet! <laughs> yeah, I guess that last number with the negative and the green would probably be my PB, right? 